guys, today we're going to be reviewing a Craftsman cordless line trimmer. This has a 60 volt lithium ion battery and a 14 inch cutting diameter. Let's jump in. So, got my scissors here, cut the tape. Okay, let's get inside. First off, you have the instruction manual, always handy. Then we've got what looks like the guard, the cutting guard. Here we've got the battery charger. Just set that there. We've got the handle. We've got the actual chopping part itself. Okay, so I'm ready to do some first impressions for you, and I just need a few notes to make. I just want to make a few notes first. Safety first, wear some glasses or something. I'm wearing flip-flops. Don't wear flip-flops when you're doing this. 
And if you're wondering why I have headphones in, it's for two reasons. First of all, this is loud. Second of all, well, I'm recording audio through this, so. Anyways, let's go. So to start, you simply push in one of the black tabs and pull the trigger. Okay, well, that was a test, and, well, it didn't seem to be reaching out all the way to the edge of the fence, but that's probably just a problem with the pieces of nylon, whatever they are. I'll need to adjust those, but other than that, it seemed to do okay. I'll use this for a couple of days, and then I'll get back to you with a final review. Okay, guys, so I've been using this weed whacker for a couple of days now, and I'm ready to give you some points and pros and cons. So I'll give you the, I'll start with the pros and I'll give you the first pro. The first pro is that the battery life is quite good. I was able to do the whole front yard of my house in one charge and that's decent considering it goes down two sides of a road. The next pro is that if you want to do line trimming, the head of the machine will rotate 90 degrees quite easily, just pull and twist. And the, if you wanted to change the angle of your cutting, it also easily rotates with the push of a button. Now on to the cons. The first con is that the nylon strings that you're using to actually do the weed whacking are not so good. They keep snapping and breaking, but it's easy just to bang it against the ground and it more will come out. Now the second con is that there's what I'm calling a nose ring and it's just the guard for the front of the cutting head. And that's kind of pointless. I was able to get much better results with it up instead of with it down. Right up against the fence I was able to get, fence, wall, whatever. And it's a lot easier to use with it up. Now, my biggest problem with this device is probably the layout. If you're holding it like this, it's not easy to use. The handle should be further down. Right now if I'm holding it like this, it's very front heavy and my left arm gets worn out very fast. So if this handle could be right about here, that'd be useful, but it's not. And you can adjust the height of it. It's, it's one height. You can adjust the height. There's no twisting mechanism, no locking, nothing. You're stuck. So if you're tall, you have, if you're short, you have to hold your arms like this. If you're tall, you've got to be low, but it's not that good. Assembly, assembly is also very hard. But assembly is a small part of your actual usage of the device, so I'm not going to knock that off. Overall, I'd give this device about three and a half stars. Three and a half stars. But that's my review. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And tell us what you think about the product down below in the comments. Have a good day.